Well, we just got a text from our manager, Kim, that a garter snake in the zoo just gave birth. We have to go see the babies for ourselves, and we have 15 minutes until the zoo opens to the public. We were kind of late today, but look! <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, there's another one. Oh, there's one over here! They were not kidding, there are a lot of baby garters in here. Uh, should we get collected? Sure! First babies in the zoo! We don't have much time to grab all these babies. Do we but... want to take the glass out? Oh yeah, we could just take the whole door. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. I won't drop it. I trust you. I don't know if it's a good thing to trust me. I semi-trust you. <laughs> Actually, this acrylic, hopefully that worked. We put this piece in here to make sure garters couldn't yeah. sneak in between the doors. I don't think doors. there's any way, this is the only spot. I don't think there was any way that for them to get up that high. Okay. If anybody's gonna find a hole in the background, oh. it's a baby garter Yeah, snake. that's true. Hopefully there aren't any holes. Hi, I'm not food. Oh. There is a snake up there. Come here! Where's nearly tailless Tom? Mr. Stubby Tail himself. Aww. He's doing really well in the Where zoo. Where did he come from? Uh, he was the um, garter that was shipped to us by a fan who rescued him oh, and wasn't right. sure how to take care of yeah. him since his bones were sticking out. I think his hemipenes got sheared. Uh, I think they probably did, Oof. but uh... With how thick that base of that uh, tail is, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's a boy. Oh, that, oh, I, yeah. I hurt just thinking of that. We've got babies in here that we yes, have to find. Yes, in a short period of time. How many are there? I'm well, gonna guess... 12. I was gonna guess 13 actually. Oh, well, there we go. If it's over 13, you win. If it's under 12, I win. <laughs> okay, deal. T minus 13 minutes till we open. So we've got to be quick. Actually, I'm gonna open just this lid so that we can like put them in through the top and they can't get out. You are adorable. Look how tiny you are! First baby born in the zoo. Maybe not the first one born, but <laughs> yeah. definitely one of the first. Oh, they're so little! Who, who do you think the parents are of these guys? I don't know. We have a handful of different snakes in here. And mostly commons in here, yeah, pretty so much I guess common. Mostly common garters, so we'll look into that a little bit more closely once we collect them all. But the first thing we have to do is get all these babies yeah, out of here. We're down to like 11 minutes. Come here, baby! Oh, got them! Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, you are not a baby. All right, we'll leave you. You be You in stay there. there. Uh, babies? No. Oh. Yeah, there. there might not be a whole lot of babies, actually. Oh, there's one. Oh, you're so cute. Come here. Yoink. Into the bucket. Yeah, we're just going to have to take everything out and inspect it inside and out. Nothing in there that I can see. How about you? Yeah, I don't see anything. Okay. So one over here. Oh, there's one. Come here. Come here. Oh, you're teeny. Oh, man, get fast. There's one right back there. Oh, my gosh. I can get like three oh, at once. No, come here, baby. Oh, no. Michael, stop Michael. it. Michael, stay. Michael, go away. We don't need to catch a Michael as well. No. I'll just hold this up while you do that. Okay, there's a baby. And try and film because I'm not getting great shots right now. But <laughs> we have to go fast. We're Sanix. Yep, I found a few. You did find a few. They're already musking on me. Nice. Into the bucket. I think you're going to win this bet. I might. Where are they all coming from? Like, they just keep appearing. Aww. They are not burrowers. No, they are not. So we oh should. Oh gosh! You are so cute! There's no way for them to sneak into that rock, is there? I was just thinking that. No, it's this one's sealed up pretty well. Okay. Oh, put... oh, there's one. Oh! Nice try. Oh, shoot. Actually, that was a good try. <laughs> it was a good try because yes. it worked. Yes, it was. Oh, there's two back there. Look, I caught one. Hooray for Ed. Here's another one. Ed's amazing. If anybody came to the zoo today and saw a bunch of dirt right there, that was my fault. <laughs> is there Wait. any up on the ledges? Okay. Oh, that's a Michael. Okay. Yeah, that's just Michael up there. <laughs> he just looks like a jerk. Yeah, he does. Is he a biter? Uh, no, he's just very flighty. He... I like how that one hasn't moved either. That's our albino erythristic, actually. Aww. Yeah, oh, and here's our flame up here. So we've got another erythristic gene at play there with all those reds. Oh yeah. my gosh, there's one more in there. Just wedged into the side. Oh no, we're gonna have to do such a more thorough job of this. Gosh. You can just weave yourself in this background. <laughs> I'm glad you like it and all, but I need to move you out of this enclosure. But you can't be in the zoo enclosure. And because of you, we have to do a much more thorough job. Thanks, dude. Thanks. We have all the babies. Babies are in. Good job. Looks better than Thanks. it did when we took it apart. It's always a good excuse to like clean and reorganize the garters enclosure yeah. when they give birth. Now we're like a minute away from opening or we already have opened and we've got to run. All right, we have all of the babies here, or at least I think it's all of them. We kind of scoured the entire cage. So I, I'm pretty sure this is all the babies. I don't know how many there are because I was not counting as I put them in, but there are a lot of baby garters here. And the first thing we should probably do is figure out what species they are because we actually have both planes and commons in the zoo exhibit with a sign to help you differentiate between the two and so people can kind of learn how to tell the differences. But we have to figure out which species these babies are. So let's take a closer look. 
All right, so the plains garter snakes have their lateral line down their side uh, a little bit elevated. It's on scale rows three and four. So the scale rows, they start at the end of the belly scute. We've got belly scute there. And then our first scale off to the side of it is scale row one, then scale row two, scale row three, as you move up along their body. And looking at the baby here, that lateral line, you can't even tell is a lateral line because it's basically connected right to the belly. That's how much on scale row one one it is. So if this were a plains garter snake, the lateral line would be elevated on scale rows three and four, but this is a common garter snake because that lateral line is on scale rows one and two. So we've got a bunch of common garter snake babies. Oh, okay, now I'm curious on if they're earthristic or not because we have some earthristic and some normal common garters in that exhibit, and it kind of looks like some of these might be earthristic. So take a look at this. Now, instead of being black with a yellow stripe, Stripe. These are brown with a kind of a grayish, kind of lighter brown tan stripe. So I actually think that these might be earthristic. If you take a look at the side, you can see some reds there. I think these might be earthristic, which is uh, more red pigmentation, by the way. I should have explained that. Earthristic uh, animals have lots of red pigmentation in them. And there's actually several different species that can be earthristics. Uh, the ones we see most frequently in the reptile hobby, though, are garter snakes. So these little babies, I think, are earthristic baby common garters. They're so little. Yeah, they are curious, they are active, they look healthy. I mean, I should do an individual health exam on each one, make sure they don't have kinks in their tail or anything. I haven't seen any yet, but I wanna do more of a, a, a thorough one-on-one -on -one examination of each baby as we put them in their baby enclosure. Well, hello, you're just coming right on over, huh? These guys aren't afraid of anything, I guess. All right, well, since you're ready to explore, I think we'll go ahead and set up your baby cage. All right, for a baby cage for garters, we're switching. Instead of using that plastic critter keeper, which melts under the light or risks melting, we're switching them to a glass tank with a sliding screen lid so that we can set the light right on top and it won't risk melting anything. I was I always- block this though. Oh yeah, you're right. I'll have to block this, this hole right there. Otherwise, look it up. Thank you for noticing yep. that. <laughs> but yeah, this is, I, I think gonna work a little bit better than the plastic critter keeper because it won't be as much of a fire hazard. And for substrate, we're just gonna use aspen fibers because it's easy to clean. It maintains burrows or tunnels as they slither through it. And I mean, the garters seem to like it because they can really dig underneath this. I also have a lot of enrichment here. Figure this piece of grapevine, I think that's what this is, will be a good climbing opportunity for them. We'll do a piece of cork bark that'll act as a hide over there. We can do another piece of cork right over here. Water dish over there, then we can put the food right there. Plenty of things to climb on. Awesome, and this makes me feel a lot better doing glass instead of plastic. All right, well, I think next we are going to go through each individual baby and make sure that they're healthy, and we'll see how many there are. And for this, Charles, can you, while we're going through, we're gonna do a hyperlapse. Can you put a counter in the corner of the screen for each one so we can like count together? Oh, that's such a teeny one. Yeah, how little. He's so small and compared to this one. He's a big chunky man. Wow. Oh, and this one has a ton of that reddish coloration. Whoa, you've gotta be <laughs> earthristic. Here's another like really reddish colored one. Gosh, you are so pretty. It's like a burnt orange color right now. Second, it's just gonna get brighter as you age. We have 18 babies. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And they all look healthy. I mean, look at this big chunky guy. Yeah, they look amazing. There aren't any kinks in any of them. They are just fantastic little baby common garter snakes. Well, now that we have them set up in their baby, uh, I was about to say baby bin, but this is like baby tank. They're set up in their baby tank. They have tons of room to explore and we have a little room for a uh, food dish to go right there. And we're gonna offer food in probably like three or four days. I found that you don't have to wait a full week to offer baby garter snakes their first meal because they have such fast metabolisms that they are usually willing to eat 
almost right away. Oh, this is a really tiny one. You are so little, I hope you make it. Now, with there being 18 babies, there's a chance that not all of them will make it. So hopefully the runt can catch up too, and hopefully that one does well. Wait a second, I just saw another head poke out of this aspen. How are you hiding so well? There you are. Wait, there's another one. How are you multiplying in here? Okay, we've got 19 and 20. Wow, did she have an even 20? Here, go in with your friends. All right, well, now they're all set up, so we'll check on them in a few days. all the garters are giving birth because I just got another text that now one of our albino garters gave birth as well. So have we ever even introduced these to the channel? We haven't even introduced these. So we have a set of garters in here that were sent by a fan a while ago. He just wasn't able to keep them. And I've been waiting to bring them home. Like they're done with quarantine now, but I'm waiting to bring them home until we have like a, a full sized enclosure to sit on top of our fireplace. We're working with Paul with Custom Reptile Habitats on, so that's a video further down the line in the works. But that's why they're all still, they're all still right here. Cause we don't have a checkered garter snake exhibit in the zoo. So we just have them back here. Oh, I think your salamanders are hungry. Always. Hi, are you hungry? Would you eat my finger? You hungry? Oh, yep. We're hungry. Like, 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 sorry. Which one get, oh, hello. You're a big girl. Do you have babies? Any babies in here? Yeah, I don't see babies in this one. All right. Okay. Any babies in here? Oh, they were just fed. They ate all their food. Good job. Do you have babies in here too? I feel like I would have seen one by now. Yeah. Okay, no babies in bin number well, two. Process of elimination, they better be in here or they all escaped. Oh, oh babies! There's I one! see a baby. Oh my goodness! She did have babies! Where's the girl in here? There you are! Hi, mama! This is your baby. No, you can't eat your baby. No, eating babies. Oh, here's another one. How many did you have? Oh, there's a baby. You're really cute, but I don't want to squish you. I'm just gonna tear apart this whole thing. I'm sorry, mom and dad. Okay, so one thing I forgot to do, cause I got distracted hey. by babies. I meant to check mom. Did you get them all out? You look a little on the thinner side, which makes sense, cause you just gave birth. I don't see any lumps or anything. Oh, and she looks good. Yeah, you look awesome. I don't feel any lumps either. So yeah, I think she got them all out. Is that, that I can't find any more. Maybe I'll do one one more check through. Yep, we've got nine babies. All right, well, let's check them over too now that we've got them all out. These are the babies you just saw, I guess, and they have food today because it's been a few days, so we thought we'd offer them some tilapia. They're not showing any interest in it, so it might be a little bit early for them. They seem to just be more interested in climbing all around. Yeah, they just oh. want to escape. But now we have new friends for them, some albino checkered garter snakes. That one has poop on him. Aw, poor little poopy baby. Oh my gosh, you did get pooped on. <laughs> I am sorry. Apparently dad was like, well, you're just in the way. <laughs> Apparently. Well, hopefully your siblings don't do the same thing to you. This one also has poop on his back. I guess dad just liked to do that. I'm kind of doing a health check or health inspection as I put them in here. Here's number five. Man, you are so pretty. Look at that orange stripe down the back. You're all good looking. Yes, you're look, super look cute. Look how cute I am. Look I am escaping my bin. Quit trying to get out. Here, go back in here. You go in there, here, meet your new friends. Check out your kind of brothers and sisters. Step siblings. Step siblings, there we go. Yeah, we have nine albinos and 20 of the Check commons. Commons, that's right. Awesome, I was not expecting to get babies at this time of year. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, we can't go through our waiting list because <laughs> a lot of our waiting list uh, lives in different states around the US, so we'd have to ship to them. And it is currently negative two degrees Fahrenheit. It's a little bit chilly. Just a tad. Just a little too cold to ship yeah, reptiles. I think it was negative of 11 yesterday. Yeah, it was. Yeah, negative 11, like yeah. wind chills of negative 35, I think it was. So, so if you live in the area, you can come get babies. You can get them locally, yes, because we definitely cannot ship them right now or they would freeze solid. So what we're going to do is offer them food and uh, the ones that are eating and thriving well over the course of the next few weeks, we are going to move on to our sales floor and that's where we will find them new homes instead of doing the, the waiting list since they were born at such a random time of year. I have them trained. Come here. Yeah. Now. Crawl into my hand. Come on. You can do it. Oh, good job. Whoa. You did it. Look how well you trained oh, them. I know. You're amazing. We've been, we've been working on this for yeah. weeks, <laughs> even though they're only a couple days old. I guess I can't say I've been working with them for weeks. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, everybody. We'll definitely have these uh, in our retail area once they're ready to go, but we're going to hold them back for a little bit because there are a couple of smaller ones we've noticed that we want to make sure are going to thrive first before we send them off to their new homes. We're going to hopefully get them on not just tilapia, but also earthworms, maybe some chicken heart pieces, maybe pinky pieces, just a variety variety of different meats so that whoever ends up buying them can feed them all, whatever they want basically. We do have an incubator running 
for something else over there. That's right, they don't know about that. They don't know about that one yet. Take guesses on what eggs are in the incubator over there. I'll give you a clue. It's a species we have not bred in a very long time. They're due to hatch any day if Seems they are like gonna Seems like everything in the zoo wants to breed with each other, which is good. Apparently, yeah, our tricolor hog might be gravid. The green tree pythons have been locking up. The ackies have been locking up. And now we have got baby garter snakes. So it's really cool to see these uh, increased breeding behaviors now that they're all in big naturalistic environments. Well, thank you everybody for watching today's surprise baby garter snake video. Wasn't expecting to do this in January. No. That's for sure. Thank you to our Patreon backers for your very generous support and welcome to the world, first baby snakes in the zoo. Thanks everyone for watching and we'll see you next time.